Hello everybody and welcome back to our little tips and tricks series for DOT 2. First of all, Happy New Year to all of you. We are in 2017 and we want to start this year with a little series about commands in queues. Queues can have commands. What commands can be in there and how does it work? If you press help, please, you get the menu. In the menu, you find a section called commands. So all of these commands, theoretically, you could put into a queue. We want to start very, very simple because we got a lot of questions from small theaters, from rock and roll guys that want to do something with that and don't know how. We start with executor, means I have a little I have a queue on this executor button. It's my home position. It does nothing else than this. And I want to trigger it from somewhere else. So off this one. To trigger it, let's say from this executor, I clear my program and there's nothing in and I store a queue. Let's have a look. I've stored a queue. Wonderful. My program is still clear and I store a second queue. So now I've got two empty queues in here, and at the very end, at the very, very end, you can see the command field. So if you hit the fourth encoder or do a right mouse click on your mouse, you could type in a command. For example, go executor, and it's good enough if you write exec. Now you need to know the number. MA button, it's number 201 on page 1. Go executor 1.201. And you see, you've got the command in here. So the crew queue does nothing to your lights, but it does this. And here I have to switch it off. So off exec 1.201. Very, very simple. Let's how I said, or like I said, we want to start very, very easy. Clear, 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 nothing in there. Still have a look. So if I fire this one, it triggers this one. And if I put a go on it, I'm in Q1 now, and it has done this command. And if I run the second one, it switches it off. Very, very simple. You can already try to play around with a little bit with it. Like I said, with help, please, you get the manual and you get a lot of commands in there. We will continue in the second part because we don't want to make clips that run over three, three and a half minutes. We want to keep it short. We have to make a little series out of it. So very soon you will get the next one for this command and then we fine tune this a little bit. That's it for today, folks. Happy programming everywhere. Bye bye. This was Michael Quincy Strutman from Tech Support, MA Lighting International. Stay tuned. Bye.